So I've been doing all these comparisons, but let me show you another feature of Q that other programming languages have. It's just a lot more concise in Q than it is other programming language. This is called casting. Casting means you convert a value of one type into a value of another type that's compatible. So for example, I could cast, how, 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 how concise is this? I'm going to cast the float 1.0 dollar, this is an operator in Q, Amongst other things, it means cast. I'm going to give it the name of the target type on the left. So the source value on the right, the name of the target type on the left. Or I could do this in the reverse direction. I can cast an integer, a long in this case, to a float. Remember, the little f says floating point. He could display that as 1.0, but that would waste a byte. So 1f is actually a shorter way to display things. I can cast to Boolean, right? So a regular integer 1 is true if I pretend that there's only values of 0 and 1, et cetera, et cetera. So for example, if I said, what is the 31st date? Implicit in this is, well, dates are counted from the millennium. So that's February 1st, all right? Pretty slick. Now let's have some fun with date vectors. All right, I already showed you this one. These are 31 days in January. These are all the days of that year, 365 days starting with January. Well, let's have more fun. Here are all the months of the year of the millennium. How about this? There are the first three months of the millennium. Now let's add 15. Right to left, remember. So we've seen a little bit of the power of the vector aspect of Q. We just generated lots of interesting dates that could be useful in business computations, and we never wrote a loop. Next, we'll talk about how to do other interesting things without writing loops. <laughs>